it is Sunday, April 4th and Easter Sunday. And we just wanted to fill you in on what we have been doing this week. Yeah. Um, so we finished some of the remodeling. Um, well, just continued working on the remodeling. Um, the stairs, all of the little finishes on the stairs are done. Um, the bathroom upstairs is almost finished. Uh, the bathroom downstairs, the shower has been started, the tiling there. We got some trim work done around the outside doors and the fireplace got a little bit of a makeover. Yeah, and the guest room um, closet um, is basically finished, just need to paint the doors. So. And then what we also did this week was the garage sale and that was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. We had so much stuff. It took us like two days. We just started setting stuff outside early, starting like Wednesday, just getting stuff out there. And we went through a lot of stuff, which is great, but we still have a lot left. We probably had probably 200 people a day for two days. I, did uh, I think <clears throat> maybe even more than that. Yeah, I think it might have been. It just it was, was sometimes insane. just constant. We didn't have a lot of prices marked because... We didn't have time. We're just trying to get all the stuff out there and, and it's so hard pricing. I hate pricing. And so people are 10 people at the same time coming to talk to you like, hey, what is this? What's this? What's this? Hey, look at me. Look at, you know, and uh, that was just, that was crazy. And then Carrie had to leave for work. So I'm by myself going, oh my goodness, what is going on? And, and Eva uh, was, was there to be able to help handle money and stuff, but she couldn't, you know, yeah. answer people's questions. Yeah. So it's Easter Sunday. And we are going to share one of our family traditions with you today, mm -hmm. which is making resurrection rolls. Um, it is almost nine o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and the kids are still asleep. So we're going to go wake them up and then we'll show you how to make the rolls. Happy Easter. We slept in the same bed last night. We're going to show you how to make resurrection rolls. Pretty simple. All you need is either crescent rolls or if you can get this crescent dough sheet, um, that makes it a little bit easier. Some marshmallows, some cinnamon and sugar mixed together, and some melted butter. marshmallow which represents Jesus and dip it in the melted butter which represents the oils that were used and then cinnamon and sugar which represents um, the spices that they use to prepare the body for burial yes. using oils and spices. And here's the two. Then, in the crescent roll and you're going to roll the crescent roll all around it try to make sure to pinch closed all of the spaces so Jesus's body is now in the tomb So expect that, but I'll show you in a minute the magic of the resurrection rolls. You want to make sure that you let them cool down for a while before you bite into them because they're going to be really yes. burn your mouth hot at first. <laughs> Over plate, please. I'm going to tell him it's mm. like 3,000 mm. times. He's gone. 
Awesome. So Jesus' body is no longer in the grave. It is yeah, Resurrection that. Day. Oh, that's, that's awesome, dude. <laughs> and those are resurrection rolls. Oh, those are really good. And they taste good too, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very delicious. The tomb's empty. 